Hi everybody, it's Carla from Casey Creates, and I'm up, it's a new day, <clears throat> but um, unfortunately I'm not in the best spirits. I, I want to share something that happened to me, and I've heard that social media groups can get a little um, sketchy sometimes, and I guess I've caught myself right smack dab in the middle of one, and um, the only reason I really want to share this is because I think people that... Um, I had considered crafting friends are going to wonder what happened to me um, and also because I really believe in bringing truth to light and sometimes I have to really decide how to pick my battles but this is one where I feel like I need to um, just speak my truth so if you want to hear what happened I'm just going to share it with you it might make me feel better so um, I've been a part of uh, well, and as you see, I've, I've been sitting here trying to craft, but to no avail. I've been wanting to do something with this little birdhouse. So I may putz with this while I chat with you. Um, but um, like I said, I, I'll, I, I'll try to keep it concise. I've been a part of a swap group on Facebook, and it's been a little over a year, and I really enjoyed it. What drew me to it was the creator. She was very sweet and bubbly and um, a very good crafter and had great ideas and um, as a result I, I in, got involved in a few swaps and got to know several of the ladies on the in the group and um, truly considered them crafting friends and the, the downside to calling people friends I guess on uh, social media is a friendship can end in the click of a button and um, that's what's happened and if my real friends that know me could vouch for me they would say I take my friends very seriously and I try to be very loyal to my friends it really seems silly almost but when people disappear off of YouTube it, it makes me sad because you know if your friends, like say for instance you're working with co-workers and somebody gets laid off, they're gone, you know, and it, it's like, oh, I really enjoyed their company, and then and then all of a sudden, poof, they're no longer there every day. So that's kind of how I feel um, right now. Um, in a series of one evening with some communication about some concerns I had, um, poof. I was eliminated from the, the group and I'm going to tell you guys of course I'm not perfect and but I've never I never get in trouble I didn't I've never been suspended from school I've never even gotten a speeding ticket you know I just I don't usually have troubles that um, involve things like me getting booted out of a Facebook group so you know I want to share with you what happened I um I was involved with some swaps that didn't go so well and I'm going to tell you most of them went wonderfully well and the ladies that I had a great experience with know who they are so I'm certainly not trying to disparage anyone. Um, and then the one there's a couple where they didn't go so well but there was very good reason for it after you know after finding out what happened so um, I had already decided without communicating with anyone that I was probably just going to bow out of swaps for a while and just, you know, hang out on the website, watch the live videos, and gain inspiration from, um, you know, just the crafts that people post on the website. And after about three weeks of no response from my most recent swap partners, literally no response at all, um, I decided I would write the creator a message, an instant messenger, and just let her know that I was disappointed with the lack of response or no response, and it was just from the current swap partners. Um, and so as a result, I was going to just bow out of swaps for a little while, and um, I'm going to insert the actual message that I sent her so that there's no discrepancy on what was said.
So as you can see, uh, there was, I, I let her know clearly that this was no reflection on um, her and that I very much enjoyed being a part of her group and that I felt like she did a wonderful job leading the group um, and that I was just going to sit out of swaps for a little while. And then if you saw her response, she basically said, well, just, you know, be patient, wait for, um, wait for your swap, and I'm sorry to hear you're leaving the group. And I was very taken aback by that. I'm like, leaving the group? I'm, I guess, am I leaving the group? Um, so I was very shocked that her response was so um, dismissive. It's like she didn't even really hear what I said. And um, this was only my first time letting her know my thoughts on the matter. And mind you, I have now waited three weeks. Um, I'd already sent my swaps off, and I, I had communicated with her by showing her my receipts, which she requires us to do, and I, I think that's fair, that of our tracking of our postage so that she knows we mailed off our receipts. And then one of my swap partners, who, like I said, was wonderful, she volunteered to let me know her swap was on the way, and I guess after sending the receipt to the leader, she also sent me her tracking receipt so that I would be on lookout for my swap. So after I read her response, I kind of got a little panicky. I was like, oh, I think she thinks I'm leaving the group and I'm upset. I'm not upset. I just think it's, um, you know, I'm going to take a little break from swaps, but I'm certainly not upset. So I sent her another response saying, I'm not sure you understand what I'm saying. And I'm going to insert that one here so that you can see what I said. So I think I need to insert some backstory just to put a little um, meaning to this, if it's possible. I did, back in May, I got a message saying that my swap partner was going to be um, this person, and I just said back, oh, I've swapped with her before. Is there anyone new? Not that there's anything wrong with, and we'll just call her Donna. And she, the reply from the leader was, everyone swapped with everyone before. And I said, oh, okay, I never swapped with several, so I was hoping for someone different, but that's okay. And then her reply was, no, and then I said again, because I, I always do this, I get worried that I'm not being understood in written message. So I said, I was just saying that since I'm fairly new to the group, there are several ladies I haven't swapped with yet and would like a chance to experience other people's work. Does that make sense? And her response was, perfectly, Carla, but you will get the ladies more than once. And so I don't know if you can see, but down in the right-hand corner at the bottom, I just gave her a thumbs up because I was totally fine with that. And I really thought nothing more of it. Um, so I hadn't heard back in this again. It's all in the same evening. So I thought, you know, <laughs> I've always known to just go to the source I didn't want to trouble her, but I thought, you know, I'm just going to go to my swap partner. It's been three weeks, um, and I'm just going to, and this is what I said to her. Um, and I'll just let you read it if you want to read it. But basically, I did want her to know that I understood, you know, that she's been going through a rough time. <clears throat> I didn't want to reach out to her. I was just going to let my leader know that I'm going to take a break from swaps for a little while and that yes I was disappointed in the in the lack of communication so 
you can read that. So what I found out next probably is what upset me the most. Um, her reply to me, and I will insert it, says, well, it was my understanding that you didn't want me for a swap partner in the first place. That crushed me. I thought we were friends. I do have your package in the mail. You should have it soon. I'm sorry for your mother and I feel horrible you'll be going through what I've gone through. So. You can read the rest. I, I just feel like it was sort of personal, but um, um, I just was like taken aback. I'm like, how would she get a message that I didn't want to be her swap partner? All I said was, are there is there anyone new I could swap with? Um, because I had already received work from her, and I thought this was about getting to swap with different people and getting you know to experience other people's work. And when, you know, she explained that that's not how it goes, I was fine with that. But I'm so perplexed as to why would she tell her, if she told her, that I didn't want her for a swap partner. That's the only way she could have gotten that kind of a message was because my leader somehow, you know, inferred that I didn't want her as her partner. Of course that's hurtful. And it would hurt me too. Even though this is just a fun thing, I think we all take our crafting very seriously. And maybe more seriously than we should. But um, first of all, I never said that. Wouldn't say that. Um, and what I said was exactly what I showed you. Is there anyone else because we had already swapped? She explained, no, that's not how it goes. I was totally fine with that. So now for all these weeks, she's been walking around hurt because she thought I didn't want to be her swap partner, but nobody said anything. So I'm like, well, that's just mean. So, like I said, you guys, I really have learned just as you mature as an adult, um, and I guess because I have a background as a Christian, and it specifically says in the Bible that when you have fault with somebody, you should go to them. I never make it a point to talk to about behind anyone's back. Have I ever talked behind someone's back? Of course I have, because nobody's perfect, and, um, you know... But have I in this situation? Absolutely not. And I don't believe I've made it a habit of doing it for years because I know how destructive it can be. So um, I really was shocked. I, I guess now it shocks me more when I realize things like that happen because I don't really look for it anymore. It seems like things you go through in middle school and high school, you know, those, and you kind of grow out of that kind of stuff so um, that's why this is sounding so catty and I really want to get to the bottom of it and be done but like I said there's people that are gonna be like well what happened to Carla and why isn't she in our group anymore and I'm gonna say I really don't know except that somebody clicked the button and said you sayonara um, and I think it's because when you bring the truth to light and it, it makes somebody uncomfortable 
they scramble and they have to figure out you know how to rectify it and you know what I'm gonna let you know the easiest way to rectify it is just say I'm sorry I shouldn't have done that but this was the response how many times have I said I understand what you're saying well to be quite honest you didn't say it at all um, this is me <laughs> you came to me over three ladies you were very concerned you're, you've not given me the chance to sort this out instead you've gone straight to someone else that's not fair well in my estimation that's kind of what you did by telling somebody that I didn't want to be their swap partner um, if that's what you did again I don't know how that information got to her because I certainly never said that um, anyway and you know what I'm not gonna read all this because it's just sounding more and more ridiculous I'm just gonna insert what was said and you can choose to read it if you want to um, so clearly she was very upset she wanted me to think that she's just wanted time to work on it but her first response to me was you know basically sorry you're disappointed and have a nice life and you know that was the end of it so then I felt really bad about my swap partner I really did I thought oh gosh um, she thought I didn't want to be her partner you know when people are already hurting they certainly don't want another reason to feel hurt or disappointment and I also know that hurt people can hurt people and so I don't you know want to be in that realm over a crafting community you know I don't I don't honestly think it's necessary to even mention serious things like um, when she was saying I, I should understand that her mom passed away I thought well my mom's going through stage four liver cancer but I didn't feel like putting those two things together was even appropriate because my mom suffering from cancer and a delayed swap aren't in the same realm at all they just don't even go and so then um, my swap partner said um, that I was just really upsetting her and I'm gonna read it to you she says okay enough is enough um, let me find it you have and this is the name of our leader we'll just call her Charlotte you have her very upset um, and then it got kind of convoluted because the wording was messed up it says no first Tom my swap with you was late I, I, I don't know what that means anyway she says I lost my little dog of 14 years my dogs are like my children I totally get that I had a dog for exactly 14 years we lost him it's devastating it still could make me cry um, I get that and she says I'm sorry your mom is sick but maybe one day you will understand how I feel this has turned into an unneeded unnecessary mess time for everyone to stop and act like adults as an admin in the group I'm asking everyone to stop now and those are in caps and I really don't need this right now good night and I thought mm. I mean I agree that it's turned into an unnecessary mess but again how did just me saying I wanted to take a break from doing swaps turn into me being insensitive to the passing of your dog I don't understand so I guess shortly after that and now you guys it's late it's, it's like midnight and I'm sitting here asking myself why am I doing this and I think it's because you're when you're trying to be heard through typed message you just keep going until someone says oh I understand and I'm so sorry you felt that way you want some kind of affirmation and I guess I just wasn't getting it so I was trying you know I just wasn't giving up so but then after she said that I thought you know what let's just put a cap on it so I said ladies I didn't tell anyone about my concerns except and I named the people um, and I shared because I thought I didn't want she didn't want me as her swap partner and this hurt me I'm not upset and clearly we have more important things to be concerned with than a swap 
I posted my condolences to you about your lost dog um, on a live chat and in a personal message, which I did um, because I felt so bad when she shared that with us. Um, I do really understand your loss, even though I didn't need to go into my loss. I, I said, I'm so sorry for your pain. I regret that we're going back and forth via messenger. Too bad we're, we can't have tea and just sort it out because clearly it's gotten out of hand. I'm not upset with anyone in the group. I just said I was going to take a break from swaps for now. I have no reason to be upset with, and I named the names of the people. I never said I wanted to leave the group. I have enjoyed being a part of your group, and I th think I express this as often as I can. Please don't turn me into some kind of monster trying to upset anyone. It's late. I'm going to call it a night. And hopefully we'll all be clear-headed on this matter in the morning. Good night. And that was my last communication. So the next day, um, I visited the, the Facebook page to see if my swap partner had um, posted any pictures of my swap that I created and she hadn't um, there was no real new activity going on so I, I didn't go back on and then that evening I got a notification that there was some new activity I thought oh I'll go see what's happening and it just kept saying no information to show I don't know what it said but as a result everything I tried to see on the page indicated that I was no longer I no longer had access to the group um, and you know I, I could say it hurt my feelings but I guess I wasn't surprised I feel like something was trying to be covered up I clicked like on something earlier that day and I think it it notified admin that I had access to the page and so they just quickly blocked me and I'm still bewildered as to how I went from expressing that I was disappointed in the lack of a response and that I was going to take a break from swapping how I went from that to being banned from the, the page so that's what happened and the majority of this whole video is just to let those who I hope you wonder where I went I hope you care um, I just wanted to let you know where I went it wasn't my doing I was kind of booted out <laughs> And I guess there's a first time for everything, and I'm not special. So that's what happened. I will learn, you know, communication is very challenging. Um, and maybe I'm too much of a communicator. I'm not afraid of conflict. I think conflict comes when you bury your emotions and don't share anything. I do believe in picking your battles, though. And beautiful crafting with laces and trims is wonderful i'm going to continue to do it um but i will never get myself in a situation where it's so challenging to communicate with the leader of the group because um in this case it, it put the person very much on edge i can't say it wasn't because she may have caused it herself by communicating with a member or some false information. Um, is that accusing her? I guess it is, but I don't have any other way to think about it. So to keep from rattling on and on, I just wanted to share what happened. I know that people have had similar experiences where you know they've been involved with a group and it's gone awry and um, I'm like I said there's a first time for everything so thanks for listening you guys sometimes when you talk about things it makes you feel better and maybe I feel better I don't know it just takes a little while maybe I'll feel better later I wish everyone well on that Facebook group um, and continued success it it was wonderful and I wouldn't have left if I hadn't been dismissed um, but now I would never go back because you know the leadership is very much lacking 
when you let something like that happen and when you instead of trying to discuss it you just click the button and say goodbye <laughs> and I just think that's hurtful so I'm gonna keep on crafting though you guys and I hope you'll still you know hang with me and we can craft together and chat and um, not to say I won't even swap again I will um, like I said I appreciate your prayers for my sweet mom and um, I think we're gonna be devoting more time to her right now anyway so I do have some challenge entries and I'll be back to show you those again soon so thanks for watching bye Well, I thought I would just come back and show you I did actually accomplish something through all that drama video. <laughs> I finished my birdhouse, so I thought I would show it to you. I'm going to tip my camera a little bit, Let's see if you can see it. It's all in pretty pinks and blues, and oh, I want you to see it. There it is. And I put lace, eyelet lace trim, and rickrack, and to get this to tip up here and I kind of shabby chiced it I might add a few little uh, blings in the middle but the flowers have a little bit of um, glitter on them too if you can see it so through our little chat I finished my birdhouse that's been staring at me for weeks <laughs> so I hope you like it it was fun Bye.